Trincomalee Harbour. A natural deep water harbour is considered the fifth largest natural harbour in the world. The port of Trincomalee belongs to Sri Lanka Ports Authority, is well positioned to handle dry bulk cargoes for the country. Especially with the planned developments and rail connections, the port has potential to emerge an important dry bulk and general cargo port. Enabling the port of Trincomalee to handle deep drafts and double its capacity, night navigation was installed to make the port operational 24 hours. The total solution came with the assistance of Japan, a long-standing strategic partner of Sri Lanka. Japan helped the project with a grant of 1 billion Japanese yen. The government of Sri Lanka entered into agreement with the government of Japan to implement this grant aid under the Japanese Non-Project Grant Aid Program 2017, also known as the Economic and Social Development Program. Exchange of notes pertaining to the Non-Project Grant was signed between the two governments on 12th April 2017 in Tokyo, Japan. Accordingly, Sri Lanka Ports Authority and Japan International System had a series of discussions for a mutual agreement. And as per the aid program, a state-of-the-art vessel traffic management system, radar equipments, lighthouse equipments, 16 navigation buoys, two mooring buoys, two 400 kilowatts generators, 14 fire pumps with machinery, and a pilot vessel were provided by the Japan International System with the invaluable assistance of the government and the people of Japan to improve navigation facility in the port of Trincomalee. Works undertaken by Sri Lanka Ports Authority under the project included installation of navigation buoys, installation of mooring buoys, construction of radar towers, construction of substations, constructions of VTMS room, lighthouse modification and supply and installation of power cables. The total cost borne by Sri Lanka Ports Authority for this was approximately 80 million rupees. The two 400 kW generators have successfully been installed at the jetty and the yard of the Trincomalee port, whilst the two radar towers were constructed, one at the port premises and the other inside the Trincomalee naval base. Installing light navigation that would not have been possible without the invaluable assistance of Japan would be the beginning of a new chapter for the port of Trincomalee. This will also help fisheries activities in the nearby waters at night. The National Ports Master Plan has laid out a comprehensive development plan for the port of Trincomalee and these latest developments will tap into its full potential. The area around Trincomalee will be identified and developed as an export hub. The establishment of a refinery and power stations would create an additional node in Sri Lanka's industrial development. With the heartiest gratitude to the government and the people of Japan, the night operations at the port of Trincomalee are now doubling its capacity, enabling the port with 24-hour operations.